Okay. My gosh, what a body of work this man put together. This one was like a day over 35 or 86. Ronnie Bull, number 29, is Chicago Bears. 1962 NFL Rookie of the Year. A member of George Halas' last championship club of the Bears in 1963. You played with Doug McCone. You, you, you saw him evolve with characters like Atkins or Bradovich. Uh, rogues, if you will, who played uh, the game with a certain kind of fashion. Where do you saw him after you well, retired as well, a Chicago yeah. Bear? If you can define from a football player's perspective, what made Doug McCone so unique? Well, what happened is, it's one of the things, every time a rookie's team in, they had to earn their respect, especially with guys like Doug Atkins. Those type of guys, he gave them respect. That's just the type of player. So when he was explaining to me about Doug, was that, uh, these guys were, were so tough and so passionate in their own way that respect was almost uh, uh, begrudging, if you will. It's not easy to win respect for so these guys. He did it, just like he said, because he was the same guy. Roy Rogers, you know, Anyway, tell you Doug played in a time that we had some great players like Dick Buckus. If there had been Dick Buckus, he would have been a top guy. Doug would have been, you know, but he took his role. You know, still did the job that he Isn't that the very essence? Isn't that the very essence of why Doug Buckus is so special? Because here's a football player who sees the unforgiving shadow of Dick Buckus. He says, I accept it. I yep. don't let it bother exactly. me. And he will not in any way interfere with my ability to make plays. Yeah, he played his game you know, as a teammate. And he never, you know, he never was jealous of it. He was just part of the team. Would you like to see the Bears? For a 55 match this year. Oh, I would. Would. You know, that would, I really would like to see that. <laughs> I really would like to see that. Either on the back of their helmet or somewhere on the sleeve. Timmy Ryan, the other guy who played uh, 14 years, and along with yourself, is one of the last players to play for uh, Coach George Hallis. Given everything he's meant to the city of Chicago, everything he's meant to the franchise, this is the kind of guy that should be on it. You should be on it. Well, it was it's one of the things. He was the Chicago Bear. He stayed in Chicago and gave back to the city. He told me a great story about that. One year, running the Dallas Mile, he went so far. Doug's about halfway through, and you can tell that Doug wants to run the Dallas Mile as much more rarely. So as he gets to turn three on the second lap, everybody's running, and Dallas is screaming at Atkins. Atkins just starts running off with the lockers. And Alice says, what are you doing, you big SOB? And Atkins turns around and says, go bleep yourself. I'm a football player, not a track man. <laughs> well, one year when we were running, Doug says, I'm going to get right on your butt, and I'm going to stay there. So we go around, and I can hear him breathing in the back. <laughs> he stayed with me, though, and we all made it. True, true story. The all-time record for most martinis consumed in one sitting by a Chicago Bear, 21 by Doug Atkins, who beat for Freddie Williams, who caved in after 19. I was there. They, they had a drink, they had a martini drinking contest. No. That Fred thought he could out Doug. Doug was still going with it. That Fred was passed out. Can you imagine if, if guys like yourself, OB, Doug, this incredible cast of characters. If you're playing on a day, can you imagine what the various football networks would do to you guys? You guys are the life of that. I think we would have changed a lot of the attitudes that they've got today. Hey, how disgusted you How disgusted were you last year? How disgusted were you then? The national lunch with Jake Hunt. Yeah. Yeah, well, he wouldn't be the way he was so hard. Doug Atkins was some of the guys who would have taken him in the back room and had a talk with him. If he would have played with you guys, he would have either, he either would have shaped up, or he would have been gone. He would have been gone. Yeah, exactly. Ronnie, bless you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's great. It's great playing with a guy like that. You know, you go back and you 